This is a year-by-year -year introduction to the history of Japanese horse racing. It's been a while since this series was last updated. In this video, I explain the year 1989. Before we begin, let's start with some Japanese snacks. First, let's briefly review the past year. A grey horse named Tamamo Cross appeared like a comet and continued winning races. Another grey horse, Agri Cap, transferred from Kasamatsu to the JRA and also kept winning. The two finally faced off in the Tenno Show Autumn. They met again in the Japan Cup, where Tamamo Cross finished ahead both times. Tamamo Cross was set to retire after the Arima Kinen, but in that race, Agri Cat won, signaling a generational shift. In the sprint and mile divisions, the champion Nippo Teo retired, leaving the field open for the next generation of champions. On January 7, shortly after the new year began, Emperor Showa passed away. As a result, the races scheduled for January 7 and 8 were postponed to show respect. Thus, a new era, Heisei, began. Let's begin by introducing the Triple Crown Race Series for Colts. In the first leg of the Triple Crown Races, the Satsuki Sho, Sakura Hakto-o, who had been crowned the two-year-old champion the previous year, garnered much popularity. The second favorite was Ancistori. He finished third in the Yayoi Sho, a prep race. The third favorite, Dr. Spurt, was a horse that had transferred to the JRA after consecutive wins in Hokkaido racing. Due to rain that fell the day before the Satsuki Show race, the track was muddy. Sakura Hakto-o struggled with the muddy track and couldn't run properly. Such course conditions were a major weakness for him. Dr. Spurt took the lead in the final stretch and achieved a splendid victory in the Grade 1 race. In second place was the white-bodied winner circle. However, due to their victory on a heavy track, in the next derby, these two horses were relegated to third and fourth favorites. The favorite in the derby was Long Symphony, who was on a winning streak of three races. In the middle of the final stretch, the white horse's body bounced as it aimed for the lead. He is winner circle, who finished second in the Satsuki show. In the end, he was challenged a bit, but he did not relinquish the lead and finished first. He became the first grey horse in history to win the derby. The favorite, Long Symphony, finished in fifth place. Thus, the spring season battles concluded, and the Triple Crown races continue in November with the Kika Show. Now, let's check out the Kobe Shimbun Cup and the Kyoto Shimbun Cup, which are the trial races for the Kika Show. The Kobe Shimbun Cup was held on September 24. The winner of this race was Asaichi George. He had shown consistent performance up to this point, and true to expectations, he won this race as well. And finishing in second place was Bamboo Begin. It took him some time to achieve his first victory, but after that, he climbed to the open class with consecutive wins. And the Kyoto Shimbun Cup was held on October 15. The Derby winner Winner Circle also participated in this race. However, he finished in fourth place. The winner was Bamboo Begin, with Asaichi George coming in second. The result saw a reversal of the top finishers from the Kobe Shimbun Cup. The day of the Kika Show arrived, and the most popular horse was Bamboo Begin. The second favorite was the Derby winner, Winner Circle. However, Winner Circle faltered in the final stretch, while Bamboo Begin surged ahead powerfully midway through the straight. The winner was Bamboo Begin. Rainbow Amber came in second. However, neither of these top two horses raced again due to injuries. Thus, the Triple Crown races for Colts resulted in a somewhat chaotic outcome. 
Now, let's take a look at the Triple TR races for fillies. First is the Oka Show in April. The main contender in this race was Shade Kagura. She had a record of 5 wins in 7 races, and she finished second in all the races she didn't win. She also won races against Colts, so it was natural for her to be the overwhelming favorite. Next in line was Idle Mary. Idle Mary also had an impressive record up to this point, but it wasn't as perfect as Shade Kagura's. Shade Kagura was slow out of the gate and ended up racing from the back. It is said that this slow start might have been intentional, but I will leave that out here. Entering the final stretch, Shade Kagura had moved up significantly, but Hakto Venus, who had surged ahead earlier, maintained the lead and continued to build momentum. Shade Kagura chased desperately. The two horses came side by side. They crossed the finish line even. Shade Kagura won by a narrow margin. Although it was by a narrow margin, Shade Kagura's victory in the Oka show was seen as strong, and she was expected to achieve the double tier in the Oaks. Additionally, discussions about a potential triple tier began to emerge. On the day of the Oaks, Shade Kagura was the overwhelming favorite at 1.8 odds, while the second favorite was Majiro Mandre, who finished fourth in the previous Oaks trial. In the Oaks, Shade Kagura seemed to have a very good position and progressed smoothly through the race. Entering the final stretch, she accelerated from about 200 meters out and surged forward. At the same time, a horse came up alongside her, matching her stride. That horse was Light Color, who had finished fifth in the previous Oaks trial. The two horses passed those in front and crossed the finish line side by side. However, Light Color on the outside had a slight advantage. The battles of the spring season have come to an end, and the final race of the Triple Tier will be the Queen Elizabeth Cup in November. Then, on October 22nd, Shade Kagura and Light Color faced off again in the prep race, the Rose Stakes. Shade Kagura had not raced since the Oaks, while Light Color had competed in the Sapphire Stakes on October 1st, finishing 5th, before entering the Rose Stakes. However, Light Color finished 8th here. The winner was Shade Kagura, showing impressive strength, making her the favorite for the upcoming Queen Elizabeth Cup. It goes without saying that Shade Kagura was the overwhelming favorite in the Queen Elizabeth Cup. The second favorite was Majiro Mandre. She won the Queen Stakes and is challenging this race. However, accidents are inevitable. During the race, Shade Kagura suffered a ruptured suspensory ligament and suddenly slowed down. Although she finished the race, she came in last place out of 20 horses. Fortunately, the injury was not life-threatening. Charging down the final stretch was San Piris, the least favored horse out of 20. She had only won in dirt races and wasn't even an open-class horse yet. The commentator shouted as if confirming to himself, there's no mistake, it's San Piris. The second place was taken by the 10th favorite horse, and the third place by the 14th favorite, making it an incredibly unpredictable race. San Piris's win odds were 430.6 to 1. Since trifecta betting as we know it today did not exist at that time, there are occasional discussions about what might have happened if it had been available. Next, we will review the grade 1 races for older horses in chronological order. The first grade 1 race for older horses of this era was the Tenno Show Spring on April 29. The popular horse was Slu Odina. He had won the Stayers Stakes and the Diamond Stakes, both grade 3 races over 3,000 meters. Although he was disqualified in the prep race, the Hanshin Grand Prize, he still finished in second place. The second favorite is Running Free. He is a regular in graded races and had won two consecutive grade 2 races before this Tenno Show. Another horse to watch is Inari 1. He had been active in local racing until last year and transferred to the JRA at the beginning of this year. Since his transfer, he has participated in two races, finishing fourth and fifth. The highly temperamental and quirky horse was ridden by the 20-year-old Yutaka Take. As they entered the final stretch, Inari 1 took the lead and continued to widen the gap with the horses behind. 
he went on to achieve his first grade one victory by finishing five lengths ahead of the second place horse. A new star has emerged in the mid to long distance racing scene. And two weeks later, the grade one 1600 meter race, the Yasuda Kinen, was held. It was on May 14. To be honest, the field this year was somewhat weaker. The reigning champion, Nippo Tio, had retired the previous year, and notable horses like Agri Cat and Soccer Boy were also absent from the race. The favorite was Hakto Helios. He was a horse that had consistently performed well in short distance races and had finished second in the mile championship the previous year. Hakto Helios usually races from behind, but on this day, he struggled a bit. Instead, Bamboo Memory, a horse with 10th place odds, took the lead just before the finish line and won the race. Bamboo Memory had only just moved up to the open class a month earlier. He rapidly improved and claimed the champion's title. It seems a new breeze has swept through the short distance racing scene. On June 11, a month after the Yasuda Kinen, the Spring Grand Prize, the Takarazu Kakinen, was held. This race, run over 2,200 meters, often attracts a wide range of competitors, from mid to long distance champions to short distance champions. That year, the horse generating the most anticipation was Yae Nom Tiki. He was the Satsuki Show winner from the previous year and had consistently delivered strong performances, except for a significant defeat in the 3,000-meter Kikuka Show. He was highly regarded as a specialist in middle-distance races. The second favorite was Inari Wan, who had won the Tenno Show Spring. Additionally, Bamboo Memory, who won the Yasuda Kinen, also participated. Yae Nom Tiki stayed at the back of the pack after the start, showing little desire to race, and finished in 7th place. Inari Wan was the first to break away in the middle of the final stretch. He held off the closing fresh voice and claimed a brilliant victory. With this, Inari Wan secured back-to-back -back grade 1 wins and is now expected to be a leading contender in future mid-to-long distance races. The spring season of grade 1 races has now come to an end. Next is the Tenno Show Autumn on October 29, but before that, Agri Cat finally made an appearance in the prep race, the All-Comer. It was his first race in nine months. Agri Cat won this race with ease, setting a new record. He later competed in the Mainichi Crown and won after a fierce dead heat with Inari Wan, before proceeding to the Tenno Show Autumn. As expected, he became the top favorite. Meanwhile, Super Creek, the previous year's Kikuka Show winner, made a return to racing after a 10-month break in the prep race, the Kyoto Grand Prize, and won with a new record. He was supported as the second favorite. Others, such as Yae Nom Tiki and Inari Wan, also participated. In the final stretch, the battle was between Majiro Ardan and Super Creek. Agri Cat made a late charge from behind. Super Creek took the lead completely, and while Majiro Ardan was leading the battle for second place, Agri Cat overtook him just before the finish line. Super Creek secured a second grade one title. Three weeks later, on November 19, the mile championship took place. Agri Cat also participated in this race and was, of course, the top favorite. Agri Cat, Bamboo Memory, and Hakto Helios were the top three favorites, in that order. Bamboo Memory entered this race after a dominant victory in the Swan Stakes, a prep race. As they entered the final stretch, Bamboo Memory surged ahead, widening the gap with the trailing horses. Agri Cat was far behind, but around the last 100 meters, he gradually closed the gap, and by the finish line, the two horses were neck and neck, crossing together. Agri Cat won by a narrow margin. The Japan Cup took place the following week. Amazingly, Agri Cat also competed in this Japan Cup. An illustrious lineup gathered, with the crowd's favorites being Super Creek, Agri Cat, the fast American horse Hawkster, and the British horse Ibn Bay, among others. The race progressed at a very fast pace, and in the final stretch, the New Zealand mare Horlicks surged ahead. 
Agri Cat pursued her, gradually closing the gap. The gap between the two horses nearly disappeared, and they crossed the finish line side by side. Horlicks won by a neck. The race time was 2 minutes 22.2 seconds, setting a world record for 2,400 meters that remained unbroken for a long time. The year was concluded with the Arima Kinen. Once again, a stellar lineup assembled. The favorites were Agri Cat, Super Creek, Sakura Hakto'o, and Inari Wan, in that order. The previous year's champion, Agri Cat, had competed in six races since his return in September, and he was fatigued, which led to him losing speed in the final stretch. Instead, Super Creek took the lead. Following closely behind was Inari Wan. Although Inari Wan had finished 6th in the Tenno Show Autumn and 11th in the Japan Cup, he was fully focused in this race. The race came down to a battle between Super Creek and Inari Wan. The two horses were completely side by side. That was where the finish line was. The winner was Inari Wan, who was slightly on the outside. He had moved from local racing this year and secured his third grade 1 title in just one year. With this, the Grade 1 series for older horses has concluded. Now, let's take a look at the two-year-old racing scene. In the Asahi High Futurity Stakes, Inez Hujin utilized his abundant speed to surge ahead in the final stretch and claim victory. In the Hanshin two-year-old stakes, Kagen Teifu overtook the leading Datoku Helios just before the finish line to win the race. I wonder what kind of achievements they will show us in the coming years. And the 1989 Horse of the Year was awarded to Inari Wan, who won three Grade 1 races. Let's look forward to even greater achievements from the new generation of star horses. That's all for this time. Stay tuned for the next installment to see what battles await in 1990. Thank you.